This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Okay, the riders have to be 18 and older. That's uh, for insurance purposes. But your rider can go day one. They can go the entire time. It is for the immediate family, like your spouse, your mom, dad, brother, sister, or grown children. But for insurance purposes, everyone has to be 18 and older and be immediate family. All right. What about pets? All right. Welcome back to the Recruiter Call channel, everybody. Thank you very much for listening. I really do appreciate you guys being here and making us your connection for new drivers everywhere. Today in this MTS segment, we're looking at Morristown Driver Services out of Tennessee. Morristown Driver Services is looking for you guys and they're offering 53 cent per mile. If that's something that interests you, stay tuned and see what else they got to, I mean, they got to offer. All right, all right. Thank you for uh, calling me back. I I appreciate it. I was incapacitated for a little bit. <laughs> um, okay. Um. Okay. So, uh, me and my buddy, you know, he's not a CDL driver yet, but he will become one very shortly. But we're we're riding down seventy five, and um, you know we. We just happened to pass one of the MDS trucks, of course, you know, on the back uh, says that you guys are looking for, you know, drivers and everything. Do you guys offer teams? We do have some teams. Um, we're mostly a solo operation. I hardly ever have a team need because I hardly ever lose a team. Um, and as we gain, you know, more uh, customers, out west we can use them but most of our teams run out of georgia and they they go out west and back they usually are back on thursdays and they leave late sunday night or or early monday morning they're back on thursdays okay okay um do you he wants me to ask you do you offer uh cdl training for drivers that don't have their cdls we do not Okay, okay. We require uh, six six months experience. Okay. Well, that that's good for me because I've been driving for over seven years. Um, all right. So <laughs> six so six months experience. Uh, I I've seen somewhere on the website that you guys uh, run all forty eight, including Canada. We do, but it's not forced dispatch here, so you you don't have to do Canada if you don't want to or. Or if there's a particular area you're just adverse to go into, you know, it's it's not forced dispatch. So what if I do want to do Canada? What what do I what what do I need to get in order to do Canada? Uh, you need a Twit card. Oh, okay, okay. That that's it. I, I don't need a passport or nothing like yeah. that. No, no, just a Twit card will get you with where we go. Okay, you know what? I'm going out for my Twit card next week. <laughs> uh, all right uh pre-employment drug screening uh do you guys do hair follicles or urine or both uh it's just urine well, okay do you guys accept anybody from the sap program sap drivers we do not okay no we do not okay well he you know he's not in the sap or nothing like that but he do indulge a lot of a lot of trucking companies seems to be saying the same thing, but not offering much uh, much different in what everybody else does. What do you exactly mean by excellent home time? Like, I mean, do do I get home every day, every week? What what do you guys mean by excellent home time? Okay, so. Um... For us, we try to run our drivers the way they like to run. And if it was a home every day, that's going to be a local position. Uh, but on my over the road, I do have folks that come home every week. As a matter of fact, most of our drivers come in sometime Friday and they leave back out late Sunday night or early Monday morning. I do have some over the road drivers that like to stay out two or three weeks at a time and come in for longer home times. 
And to be quite honest with you, I have some drivers that uh, that live in their trucks. They just stay gone. They're they're out on the road. So we are uh, we feel like we're a one size fits all because we tailor our approach to meet the driver's needs. We don't make the driver meet our needs. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. 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 Uh, so I'm out of Ohio. Um, how would you guys get me up here for orientation? Uh, we'd put you in a rental car. It's just a one day orientation. We do those every Thursday and we'd put you in a hotel room that Wednesday night, have your class on Thursday and we get you in, in your truck and start routing you back toward home. So you could finish setting your truck up the way you like. All right, awesome. So we put you in a rental car so you can bring, you know, as much stuff as you need. Okay. Uh, mileage, uh, mileage pay. Um, do, do you guys go by experience or is it like a uh, flat rate when I come in? Because I got seven years of experience. Um, I'm already with a company that's kind of paying me pretty good. You know what I'm saying? But... Uh, you know, uh-huh. there's, there's, you know, there's always room for improvement. So what's, what's the uh, mileage pay for yeah. you guys? Ours is based on experience. It sounds like you'll come in at a base of 58 cents a mile and then another uh, eight cents in pay items. And what those are is that every four weeks we pay an additional two cents on all your miles just for running safe. So that'd have you at 60 cents a mile. And then we, um, anytime you pull a reefer for us, it's an additional two cents on the mile. And if ever you're in the Northeast, uh, starting along the 81 corridor, you have a delivery in that Northeast, it's an additional four cents on the mile zip code to zip code. So you could be out West, let's say you were in Phoenix, Arizona, and we give you a delivery to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. That's an additional four cents all the way from Phoenix to Lancaster. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So, but the base pay is, is 52 cent a mile. 58. Or 58. Oh, 58 cent per mile. And that's even for, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. uh, That 58 is, is your base. And if we're moving you, we're, we're paying you. So that's loaded or empty. Anytime we're moving you, you're at 58 cents a mile. But as long as you don't get a ticket, in the four week period, you could count on it being 60 cents a mile. Uh, you know, we, it's a, that is an incentive to get our drivers to run miles that run them safely. So you'd be looking at 60 cents, you know, as long as you didn't get a ticket, but, um, and then anytime pulling a reefer is an extra two cents because they're a little bit more aggravating and certainly going into the Northeast is a little more aggravating. So that's why we pay that additional four cents zip code to zip code. All right, cool. Awesome. You don't have to worry about me going up into the Northeast. So yeah, we, we, we don't have to worry about that. I mean, other drivers might be interested in that, not me, uh-huh. but you already said, uh-huh. you, you already said it was good. Uh, that caught my ear when you said it's no force dispatch. So, yeah, you, right. know, you don't have right. to worry about me requesting to go up in the Northeast. Not going to happen. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Um, but, 50, but 58 cent, is that is that for drivers that's, that, that has uh, six months experience as well? No, with the six months, they'd be at 54 cents a mile. Okay, so they'll be at 54 cents per mile. Okay, okay, awesome. Yes. All right, uh, what about the trucks? Then, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, I said, and then they would have that additional eight cents as well that they could make. Um, that That's the same, you know, the, the additional pay is the same. Um, but as far as the trucks, everything's Peterbilt. Uh, we trade before the warranty's up. They're all automatics. We've moved to a fully automatic fleet. But they have free satellite radio. They have refrigerators and dash navigation. They have APUs and inverters. And we have the forward-facing cameras. Oh, wait. You say four. Okay, so no driver-facing cameras. Yes. Yeah. That's right, right. Okay, that's that's awesome, too. Okay. Um but do you guys have all those those bells and whistles, those things that be going off uh, lane uh, lane assists in there as well or no? Because those are very irritating. Um, 
they are irritating and we have adjusted ours but of course our equipment is state of the art it comes with all of that but we uh we have to listen to our drivers and made some adjustments on those all right, awesome. And then you did and, and you did mention all the amenities in the truck. Uh what about what what about yeah. for our ELDs? Oh, we use Sam Sarah. Sam Sarah. Okay, okay. Um now let me I, I'm I'm currently using Sam Sarah as well, so I'm I'm very familiar with that. What about you what what what's your policies on personal conveyance? Um, we keep you pre-planned, you know, so you know, uh, I mean, we're, we're probably 80% pre-planning you. So, you know, when you're going to, you know, when your next stop is, you know, when you're going to be getting home, those, those kinds of things. Uh, I mean, if you've got to use personal conveyance to, just to get to, uh, uh, you know, to get to a safety spot, you know, you know, we, we're, I guess we're okay with that, but we, we try to keep it where we can keep that kind of stuff down because, of course, that keeps, you know, that, that makes DOT look at you pretty hard, you know. So right. we, we try to stay ahead of things like that. Okay. So we, we do a good job so, planning you so that you you can plan your entire week and you know when your stops are going to be. So personal convenience is there if if we need it on the Sam Yes, Sarah, if it's though. needed. Okay. So That's we, right. So we are able to take the trucks home then. Yes, yes, you would go home under dispatch. Okay. So the good thing about that is you're knowing when you need to leave out. We don't call you at home and ask you if you're ready or anything like that. You do uh, run it like it's yours. Okay, okay. Um, of course, you, you did tell me about uh, home time so I can get home any time that I would like to get home. What about a pet and rider pro uh, policy and how? what's the youngest I can bring uh What's the youngest I can bring my rider? Okay, the riders have to be 18 and older. That's uh, for insurance purposes. But your rider can go day one. They can go the entire time. It is for the immediate family, like your spouse, your mom, dad, brother, sister, or grown children. But for insurance purposes, everyone has to be 18 and older and be immediate family. All right. What about pets? Can, can I bring my cat with me? Uh, we no, we have a no pet policy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, well, I guess my last question is: uh, Do you guys offer any type of sign-on incentives or anything like that? Uh, we do have a sign-on bonus. It's thirteen fifty. It's it's a longevity incentive, uh, meaning that it pays out over time. Uh, many many years ago, when companies started doing sign-on bonuses. Uh, the drivers were a lot smarter about it than the companies and a driver would go somewhere else and get their sign on bonus and then somewhere else and somewhere else. And they made a living on sign on bonuses. So many companies started tying it to time and that's what ours is. So it's paid out over time. You'll have a hundred dollars of that 1350 on your very first paycheck. Once you're with us six months, you'll get 500. And once you're with us one year, you would get 750 totaling 1350. Now there are some companies that offer those, those, big sign-on bonus, like 5000 stuff like that. Watch out for those guys because usually they're starving you to death. Meanwhile, you know, they're not paying you very much on the front end because of this sign-on bonus that they're paying out. All right. All right. All right. Well, well, MDS, I would definitely, um, you know, go over this with my partner, which is sitting next to me, by the way, but of course, he's gonna have to get six months in. <laughs> but um, I gotcha. but um, but let me ask you this, um, because I I did mention that you know I I am getting paid pretty well. Uh, will you guys uh -huh. be able to match any any anybody's uh rate? No, no, we've we've. I mean, we we're not looking to like match. We feel like we have a very competitive pay package and. We also have the things you can't put a dollar value on. Um, you know, you're not a number over here. Uh, we're keeping you in great equipment or home time. You can't put a dollar value on that. Um, but uh, we know we we know that we have a great overall package. Uh, we have some folks with six months experience on our dedicated accounts that make 80 to 90 grand a year. 
so we we know our pay is good and so we're we're not looking to like find out what you're paying and match that and you know it'd just be too hard to keep up with we we know we got a great package uh, we uh, work for a great uh, owner he uh we're not just a small company. We run uh, just over 300 trucks, but the owner of our company owns uh, Front Row Motorsports. He's got four NASCARs, uh, over 300 restaurants, a slew of businesses. So you'd be coming somewhere where there's certainly financial strength. Uh, he pays $150 of your insurance premium every week for you to have affordable health care. You can get health care here for $40 a week. Okay. So we know we have the things that puts more money back in your pocket. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. I really, welcome, I really, really do appreciate everything. Uh, great conversation. So thank you very much. I would also share this thank because you. this is, this, this okay. is interesting. So thank you very much, ma'am. I appreciate you calling me back. You're welcome, Sean. You have a great day out there. You too, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Bye. Morris, Morris, <laughs> Morris Town Drivers Services out of Tennessee. There we go. There we go. I knew I would get it right. I knew I would get it right. So good conversation. I I like this lady. I mean, soft spoken. Would she didn't rush or nothing like that? Like it was just a. It was just like a cool conversation. Like when she called me back, I was at the pilot and she called me back and I was like, hey, let me get back with you. She's like, cool, take your time. It's like, wow. But uh, in summary, man, I mean, the, the, the only, I, I honestly really can't find no, no fault in this, in this company. I mean, coming in at six months, you'll be at 54 cent per mile. And coming in, well, if you're coming in as an experienced driver, say, for example, uh, you coming in at maybe five years or so, uh, unfortunately, it is 58 cent per mile. But they have a whole lot of incentives that will jump it up to like 64 cent per mile. So basically you would get paid for everywhere that you drive. So if you're driving up in the Northeast, you're going to get paid extra. If you drive in a reefer, you're going to get paid extra. If you drive more than 2,500 miles a week, you're going to get paid extra. As long as, you know, of course you do it all safely. So you do it all safely, you're going to get paid extra. You can take the trucks home. There's no problem taking the trucks home. Uh, their home time, as she said, the home time will be you'll, you'll get in Friday. You'll leave out probably early Monday morning. You'll go in with a load, come out with a, come, you know, come out of your home time with a load. Uh, as far as getting you up to orientation, no bus. Thank you. Thank you. The fuck? No, no Greyhound. They'll, they'll, they'll get you a rental car. You'll be able to come up to Tennessee, and it's a one-day orientation. After that one day, you do your tests, you do your videos, videos, part of the orientation. So you do your videos, and after you finish with all that, you, you'll get your keys to the truck. And you're on the road. Your ELD will be, of course, Sam Sarah. Looks like that's the most popular ELD right now. You can use PC. She said that's not a problem. You can't use it too much, though, because, you know, DOT looks at it. They offer OTR regional, dedicated, and they also have options for, uh, for owner operators. They have a rider program. Now, the rider program, due to their insurance, is uh, 18 and older. 
and I believe it has to be a legitimate family member. They pay their lumpers. You get fuel from Loves. So if you go to Loves and get that little uh, Loves uh, card, you can fill, uh, fuel up and get your showers in at the Loves. They have pre-pass and easy pass for all of the all of the tolls. APUs, power inverters. She said that the owner pays $140 into your health benefits. Only thing that comes out of your pocket is 40 bucks. Affordable health care. That's something that you guys should always look into. Affordable health care. Of course, all the rigmaroles that comes with all companies, 401ks, uh, vacations, all that good stuff. So, MDS out of Tennessee. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. All right. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys drive for MDS, let us know how the company is treating you because from this conversation that I got with this recruiter, it sounds as though that they treating you pretty good over there. <laughs> okay. So come and let us know how they treating you in the comments below. All right. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Who's next? next.